The old coot coming back at you here with another exciting video. Okay, so I want to keep this short and sweet. I want to let everybody know how you know if you did it right. Your spatchcock turkey, turkey and how it should be fully cooked. Thermometers are your best friend. When you pull your turkey out of the oven, probe the deepest, thickest part of the thigh, right? So this is, this is the drumstick, the leg, the lower part of the leg. This is your upper leg, right, or your thigh meat. If you probe in there and you get a reading of like 190, just take the probe out and put it into another part of the thigh. Make sure that the lowest, coldest temperature that you're reading is 165. Because a lot of times you'll get like, this will be 190, this will be 180, this will be 170, this will be 165. So as long as you hit 165 after several probes in the thigh meat, you're good to go. If you're a little over, that's fine. Like in my case, I think it was 173 today, which is totally cool. But anyways, the way you know that you got it right is once you start carving it, right? So let your turkey rest for half the amount of time that you cooked it. So let's say, let's say you cooked your turkey for an hour and 10 minutes. You let it rest for 35 minutes, then start carving. I usually wait 40. I give it an extra five minutes just to make sure. But once I start carving and I've done up the breast and I've carved everything else, this is usually one of the last things that I carve. Sometimes the middle, sometimes the first, whatever. But when you cut into this... What you're looking for is juicy, clear liquids, right? So see how everything in there is clear? There's clear liquids. That's how I know that it's fully cooked. If I see red, like red bloody juices that are coming out of here, then I know I need to throw this back in the oven for, for another 10 minutes that it didn't fully cook through. But as long as you see like juicy red, or sorry, juicy clear liquids right juices that are clear coming out of this joint where the drumstick where the drumstick meets the thigh then that's how you know sorry let me unlock this that's how you know that you found the right temperature the right time the right spot in your oven like all all that kind of stuff juicy see that clear juices coming out of this joint now i know that this is fully cooked Hope that helps some of you out there. The solution, if it's not fully cooked, throw it back in the oven for 10 minutes. There you go. Anyways, hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button down there below. Hit the description section for some links to some cool products. And hit the comment section if you have any comments or questions. And I will catch you all in the next exciting video.